I've already responded to you, Erica, but I'm going to psychologically analyze what you your replies to me from two weeks ago now. I know it's been a while, but I've been fucking busy. You didn't answer me anyway. I asked you the basics of questions. How is God being a part of being against the devout reason too also? And also why do you agree with the Bible and want it to be true? Now you say, who are we to oppress trans transgender? Well, you say it right here, oppress, that's the key word here. Now, look that term up. What does oppress mean? It means to keep in subservience and hardship, especially by unjust exercise of authority. So, you're all about authority as you also say that uh, you're against fornication, adultery, murder, theft, and abortion and homosexual marriage. What else here? But somehow you also love all people. But we do not co-sign anyone's, everyone's lifestyle. So you're a very mentally ill woman, but that's obvious to anybody with a sound mind. But I'm um, looking at this psych psychologically. This is analysis. So you're all about authority, as I've just said. Now you want to... You want to uh, inflict people with hardship. You want to be hard on people for no valid reason. You just want to give them a hard time as possible. That makes you just as bad as your opinion of the transgender and everybody else you mentioned here. I mean, you just want to for the sake of doing so. You want, you're hiding behind God. That's what you're doing here. So, uh, you're, using God to justify yourself, you're using your own belief. You're appealing to God here, and that's a fallacy. How are you any better than anybody else by even saying you want, admitting you want, you're trying to say that's who you are to do so. So. Now, oh, there she is right there. You just responded to me after two fucking weeks well, that's be probably because I just replied to you, but you ignored my other two replies, which were from t two weeks ago. You're, you're, you're using belief in God as an excuse to oppress people. Transgenders and all these people here that you've... All in your list of your imposed convictions here, which are all unjustified, for the wrong reason. That reason being God. Now... Looking at the, uh, well, you're against fornication, and uh, that's there's nothing wrong with fornication. I don't know what the problem there is, and I'm sure you do so yourself. Reproductive sex should also be wrong because that's still wasting sperm. If wasting sperm is the problem with non-reproductive sex, as God forbids, fornication is a sin. You're against adultery, which is immoral, but uh, to oppress people means that you're no better. But with that, with that already said, adultery is, uh, it's immoral, but all you have to do, like, adultery is nothing more than cheating on somebody, which only means that that person is fucked in the head or something's going on there. And they just need to, a person who is cheated on simply needs to move on. Otherwise, they're enabling that adulterer. Nothing more needs to happen there. You're against killing, so that means, well, I'll just say before I get into that, that uh, killing is, is is a gray area. It is sometimes justified. But you're saying that, uh, I'll use a Christian as a as an example. Suppose that Christianity, or Christians were the minority in the world, whereas atheists really are, but suppose a few atheists were threatening you, and they were going to, you know, they were, going to potentially kill you. There are, what, three of them there, I guess we'll say. So does that mean you're not allowed to kill them in order to walk away? Is that what you're saying? Now put that into a realistic perspective. Suppose that there are um, some neo-Nazis, a group of them against a black person. Oh, another one from you. Another reply. So you've come out of the woodwork for some reason. 
Now, are you saying that that person, that black person does not have the right to kill them? Out of self-defense in order to spare his or her life? Is that what you're saying there? You're against stealing. Well, murder and stealing. That's how America was um, achieved. Those people were killed and uh, they were also raped. Christopher Columbus and his crew stole that land and made it America. Now, abortion. How is voting for abortion going to solve the problem? Maybe God should have created, uh, uh, designed human reproduction better so that wouldn't happen, huh? Omnipotent creator that he supposedly is, as you believe. We should not vote for homosexual marriage. Why not? You're against all these just for the sake of being against them. I mean, you're not even against them because you hate them. You're against them because somebody else, an external, is against them. So you're just empty-headed. So with the last, well, there's another one here. Why do you not believe? So you're turning this around against me. Why do I not believe? It's not... The word believe is irrelevant. It's why do you want... I'm asking why you want Christianity to be the truth. That's all... I, who cares? I don't care what anybody believes or not believes. It's what they want. It's psychological. I'm concerned about the psychology of matters. Why do you have have on clothes if you don't believe in the Bible? What do clothes have to do with the Bible? A straw man question right there. You should be walking around naked the way it was when Adam and Eve were created. Why? I don't believe in the Bible. Was God naked? Maybe he's a sinner, huh? So, yeah. Okay, now looking at your replies here. Uh, yeah, screw it, I'll just leave it. I believe in the Bible because I believe. I simply b believe. That's not what I'm asking. Or did I? Um, did I ask why you... Did I fuck that up? What did I say? No, I said, why do you agree with the Bible? So you can't... You're not even answering the question. So, um... <laughs> 